Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. So in today's video we're going to be working on a lot of different projects around the house, mainly the metal fascia around the outside of the house. We've been working on that for probably about the last two weeks. So I do have a lot of footage from that that will be most of the video. But first we're going to start off with two little projects here in the house. So we will just get straight into those and I hope that you enjoy this video. The first little project we have to do is right here at the front door. We never put any small trim to the sides of this front door. So there is this nice little uneven gap here where the flooring meets this window right here. We're just gonna do a real small trim from this wall over here to the front door on this side. So this is the piece of trim that Jalen's going to be putting over here, but first he's gonna cut this real quickly. We didn't think we would have to paint this little trim. We thought it would maybe blend in good enough with the trim that we already painted white there, but in person you can tell that it's a different color white so i think we're gonna have to run it out on the patio and give it a good paint grabbed a one inch paintbrush and he's going to use our white paint that we use for all the trim and the doors in the house okay so the paint is drawing these two pieces so now I just need to put them in here, nail them down tight, and then I can put some caulking in the corners and along the edges to seal everything up. Okay, Jalen got both of those pieces of trim on there and now it looks finished here at the front door. Looks so good, just something so small that it can make a big difference. Here's a little closer look right here. It just looks nice and finished now. And I actually did order a few rugs to try here at the front door. I think they're gonna be coming next week. I got like three different ones to try and see which one matches the best. I'm trying to go for like a five by seven rug, which may be a little bit too big, but this is a really big door right here. And I feel like a small rug before was just too small. So I'm trying to go bigger and get something that's nice and soft that we won't mind walking on every single day when we're going back the hallway. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is to hang a blind here in my office. I'm gonna be doing the same kind of blind that we did in the boys' room and the media room over there. This is the dark gray color, just like what we have over in the boys' room. These are blackout blinds from Allen and Roth. They're cordless cellular shades. You can trim these at home and this one is the 70 inch blind. We love these blinds. Like I said, we've got four others in the house, so I decided to just go ahead and put one here in the office. After this, I need to figure out what type of light fixture I wanna put in here because there's still no light fixture in here, so it's kind of dark. I just have this stand-up lamp over in the corner. this blackout blind up here in the office. I think we need to pop up this side here a little bit more. It looks like some sunshine's coming through the top. But here's a close-up of this blind. These are awesome. They completely black out a room as you guys can see. And then there's a little tab that you can pop on here to make it easier for pulling them up and down. And this is what it looks like when you have the blind all the way up. I'll probably be finishing furnishing this room here in like the next two months maybe I'm thinking probably later in March or something.
Okay, so now we're going to get into the metal fascia work that we've been doing the last couple of weeks, and this footage is a couple of weeks old. So since we filmed this, we did give the front porch a makeover, which that was the previous video on my channel. If you haven't seen that video, be sure you go and watch that. We completely transformed this front patio. I take you through the whole process from start to finish. So yeah, this front patio looks a lot different now than it did a couple weeks ago when we filmed this footage. But before Jalen could get started installing the metal fascia, he had to get a paint sprayer and spray this little piece of white metal that was right here at the top of the fascia. He spray painted that the same color as the metal fascia that he will be installing here in a little bit. So he had to go all the way around the exterior of the house like this painting and no, the overspray didn't get on the shingles at all. It was totally fine. And then while he had that paint in the paint sprayer, he went over to our well shed and went ahead and spray painted the metal roof on this really quickly. I forgot to get a before shot of this roof, but the roof was red and the red paint was starting to peel off of it and everything. It looked pretty awful. So he just quickly sprayed that with the darker gray spray paint. And then while he had the paint out, he also went ahead and painted the two vents on either side of the house the same color as the metal and this is all just part of finishing up a home renovation all of the little projects like this just make such a big difference in giving the house that finished look Then we had a couple of days of interesting weather that kind of put a halt on all outside projects. It started off as really rainy and cold and then it turned into snow and we could not believe how much snow we got. This is very unusual for the part of Arizona that we live in so the boys were very excited to have snow. snow has dried up it's starting to warm back up a little bit so we're gonna get back to working on some outside projects and finish putting up all the metal fascia when you first brought it up I was starting to freak out that this was scratches but it's just the, it's the plastic film crinkling
This metal fascia is from Mueller Metal and we chose the charcoal color. I feel like it was just the perfect finishing touch for the house and goes really nicely up against the stucco color and the black accents. And it feels like the projects outside are never ending at this point, especially the closer that we get to spring. We want to work on the exterior of that screened in porch over there, hopefully here in the next week or two. Okay, we got the first piece of metal fascia up here. Jalen just had to notch out a little bit over on the left side and then right here at the black beam. And now we're gonna put up the second piece over here. Okay, we got the second piece popped in there and now he's screwing in the screws up into the metal on the underside portion here. Usually only has to do about two or three. Okay, so he's gonna cut off the overhang here and then we'll put the fascia on this front part of the carport. This should be an easy section to do because we don't have to notch around anything. There was like three different spots on that small section that we had to notch around. So he had to pull down this little board that he had up here previously, took it out to the shop and shaved it down a little bit just so that it didn't stick out quite so far. Okay, we're around here at the front of the house now. We're going to work on this big peak right here in the front. Installing this metal on this peak was a little bit difficult. It was kind of a stretch for Jalen to get up there and screw it in and he shouldn't have been standing on the top of the ladder. It's not the safest, but it's just what he had to do. He didn't have any taller of a ladder at the moment. And then when we got around to this corner, it took us probably about 20 to 30 minutes to figure out this corner right here. I just shut off the camera because we just couldn't get it to work, but we finally did figure it out. And then at that point, that was all of the metal that we were able to install that day. And we will finish the metal fascia in another future video. Okay, so before we call it a day here, I'm going to quickly clean up this carport, get it swept off and everything.
Okay, so I'm gonna end this video by walking you around the house and showing you all the metal fascia work that we got done. And obviously by this point, we did the front porch makeover, which like I said, was the previous video on my channel. So you can head over and watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. And here's a closer look at this metal fascia on the front porch. That color of the little piece of metal that he painted just blended in perfectly. And now we have to work on this part of the front porch over here. We wanna stain this red concrete. We're gonna have to touch up the paint on the ceiling, do some new lights. I wanna do a big rug at the store. But yeah, all of this metal fascia here at the front is complete. Slowly getting this done, working our way around the house, doing all these final touches. And we did complete this front peak as well. And now we wanna build a little wood accent to go right in the top of this peak and we'll stay at the same color as the beam over here to the left. So this right here is that corner that we were having trouble with, but we did get that figured out and it turned out really good. And we did the fascia all the way about halfway on this side of the house and then we stopped. Right there is where we stopped. So here in a couple days, we'll just start back up again and finish installing it all the way around the house. I stepped back over here to try to get a shot of this dark gray painted roof. That turned out really good. Right now, Jalen's over here installing sprinklers for the yard and he's getting ready to plant grass seed, but I'll just show all of that in a future video because he's been trenching and everything. And we'll make a quick stop here at the chicken pen just to show you how much they are growing. This one right Right here is my favorite it's all speckled black and brown and we've actually got three roosters we thought we only had one but now we've ended up with three okay so the next project is going to be to do something about this orange chimney up here and then of course we have to finish the fascia install here on the back porch and Jalen started another project right now which is installing a yard in the backyard so he's been digging all these ditches with a trencher. And right now he's installing the sprinklers and then he'll be planting a nice yard out here. We're gonna do some bushes with gravel here along the edge of the house with a little like concrete edging. And we are back to having beautiful warm weather as we're getting closer to springtime. It's been an average of like 70 degrees every day. So beautiful. So we've been doing a lot of outside projects. Over here is where Jalen got that vent painted and then we did all the fascia install around the carport here. So we can't wait to get all of this trim finished up because then we're gonna start working on this little screened in porch here. I think we're gonna try painting the screens, replacing this door right here and just making this look a little bit better. Here's the metal fascia right here at the front of the carport that we got finished up. We went around this corner over here and then the other week those contractors did the small metal fascia cap around the top, the square part of the house. Okay, so that is gonna be it for today's little house projects video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in a couple days with a brand new video. Bye.